Steve again. Uh, this morning we're out to an MAN tractor unit. Uh, so it's got an exhaust fault and um, we're taking it to the MAN dealership. Uh, so it will run. Again, same, pro same old problems. It's put itself into limp mode. Police were able to move it around a bit. Uh, so we're going to do a rear lift on this vehicle. Uh, so I've just moved it forward a little bit out of everybody's way. Um, well, what we're going to do, we're going to rear lift it on the rear anti roll bar of the vehicle. So it should be fairly straightforward, but they are quite narrow, these uh, new tractor units. Before we could get the crosshead straight underneath and plenty of room um, between the wheels. But um, it's getting a little bit more tighter now, so I'm hopefully I've moved back enough and hopefully. Um, I won't really have to readjust the truck to get in between the wheels with the crosshead to lift it. Um, my main thing first of all is um, with these um, is check that you've got two um, brake pipes going to the chamber. With this, I put my hand down a minute ago and I could only feel the one. So we've only got one, um, you probably can't see where my hands are underneath it, but we've only got one brake pipe going to the chamber. So obviously that means the handbrake's not working on the front axle. We, so we're gonna need to chop that first of all, before we uh, think about trying to um, do a pre-lift rivix. It's on a side slope, so I might put a couple of chocks either way. So we've got a bit of time on our hands here. We're in their yard. So we might sort of do the job properly as always. That's the thing is you say, if you try and cut corners on this job, even for something, something simple as this, things tend to go wrong, so do everything by the book and hopefully uh, the job goes well. I'll get some chucks in there. Yeah, these uh, MAN tractor units, you say they're fairly low, like, like a lot of the modern day stuff is on the front end. So we don't really want to lift it too high. Probably show you actually how low they are at the front on these. Let's have a look. Here yeah, we've got the suspension up here. See where this has uh, already been um, grazed at the front end uh, by the drivers going up slopes and that. So they are, they are low, pretty low to the ground. What have we got under here? We've got a metal engine tray, protects the sumps, that's good. To, so we've got a few um, speed humps coming out of here as well. So so at least the engine sumps very well protected, even though it is low. Right, let's get the boom down and see how far uh, off or on we are. I'm hopefully I've got it about right. We should see. Yeah, once I actually get it loaded, I'll probably drop the suspension down a bit and that will lower the height that the that I'll be able to lift it. Yeah, two big air tanks on the back we've got to be a little bit mindful of. So, yeah, I think we're about, about right in the middle, actually. Makes a change. Normally these I have to go back, back and forth a couple of times to get it right in the middle. You'll see what I mean trying to get the cross there between these... Um, wheels at the back yeah we're going to do a pre-lift first on this yeah you've got very little room either side just make sure the pins and that are not going to dig into the tyre it will probably be very tight actually on this all the fault. We can move the pedestals, and we're gonna. So we're picking on the anti-roll bar to pre-lift, and we put our forks in there as well. Yeah, it's very tight. Actually, gonna come back a little bit. Just gonna get not quite 100 in line, but I think we could be able to get away with that on a pre lift and we'll have a look. Look at that, 
that's actually right right under the tires it's coming we can come out a bit more to yeah look at that just rubbing inside the tires on a pre-lift let's get that up there and see if we can yeah we're slightly off on uh on my reverse in again <laughs> there we go that's it that's what you call a tight fit right let's get some stands underneath once we put the forks uh, actually in the the cross it won't be so much into the tires have to have a little look at that so it's definitely not going to slide either way on the forks not that tight fit See how we go on. Just gonna go inside the bracket. Yeah. I might use these forks actually, because they actually angle out. And they're a little bit high, so hopefully won't be too much rubbing on that sidewall. If we put them round that way, maybe we're not going so far under. Even they're a little, little bit uh, wider than we probably want, but let's have a look, see what she looks like. So we can drop the suspension down. Let's have a look, see what we got. Yeah we're, yeah, we're clear of these wheels now with these forks. You say we like them a little bit tighter to the to the anti-roll bar, but you say at least it's away from them wheels. Let's move that over a little bit on one side. Yeah, don't want to do any damage to these uh, drive axle tyres. Yeah, that, that'd be fine on there. That'd be fine, just gonna go a little in and out. So, it, yeah. It's not. That'd be fine on that. All right, we'll do a chain that down. You say by dropping the rear suspension, the front will be a bit higher on that as well. Use the smaller chains. around the top of here really to use the chain up there we go right I'll take the stands away now I'll put them there actually for a sec I'm just want to drop the suspension and uh, hopefully it shouldn't make any difference to us tighten the chains up let's have a look drop that down a bit now This is the remote suspension button. Yeah, dropping air out the back. You're taking it out of the system, but you say without the 
brakes working on the front. Let's have a look, see what it's like now. See, I think it would have loosened the, the chains. No, no, the chains are fine. It's dropping the air down. Come down a little bit more now. As the back goes down, the front's raising a little bit. Find all the air tanks and that are clear on there. Right. Yeah, we're rear lifting. We've got a couple of little jobs to extra to do them rather than front lift. We'll probably have to um, strap these as uh, side deflectors. This is probably yeah. This is Fix's side, but that is a. Uh, one that swings out to allow the driver to access the catwalk. Let's move that forward a bit. So we'll probably strap uh, that side up. Let's just move forward a little bit on my chock so they, they've done their bit. So it's on a little bit of a slope here, so I've chucked it both ways just to be safe. Yeah, that's the ha that's with the handbrake on, so we are right with uh, our thoughts about one uh, airline going to the chamber. So on this particular model, the handbrake doesn't work on the front wheels, which is good. So I won't need to uh, be putting an airline in to tow it. these chucks away not too much about where I put them up so I'll be getting them out the other end so it'll be the same thing in reserve first Boom's right in now. So we're dropping the suspension, it's giving us a bit more clearance at the front. What I do when I tow these normally, I just leave the, um, the part brake on anyway, because we're lifting them um, obviously off the road surface. But it's just an added thing. If anything should go wrong, the a brake away, obviously it's not gonna roll. The brakes are locked on that. Right, let's do, uh, let's, let's have a look at that. Um, side deflectors, a little strap here. <laughs> yeah, with the wind going, um, obviously hitting the back of the cab, it will probably, yeah, it will, yeah. These will quite easily uh, come out to the side so we don't want to have them hanging out. So this side is fixed, this side, so I only need to do, do one. Sometimes I Put them both together. Let's have a look. Might be able to run a little strap to it and round. Let's undo these little straps. Just nipping up, really, just to keep it from blowing out. That's it. Now, do us that, do the job. Right. Oh, what I would say actually on here, actually, uh, this is uh, the index for the air points, which are at the back. Um, normally I would just use um, if I was rear lifting it and the, the part brake worked on the front I'll be going on to the yellow test point which is here 
Fortunately, the points are here on the MAM. They used to be further up. I've noticed lately they seem to have them here. But they say the index to let you know exactly what every air point is, um, is at the front on the fuel tank. But normally it's a red one we use. That tends to blow it, like all the air system up. And so that's your little index here that corresponds with that. But why that's there and that's there, I'm not quite sure. But that's what that's about. Right, let's get some... Um, steering straps most important thing really when rear lifting that the, the steering straight don't that coming loose i'm not sure if the steering actually locks straight oh yeah it does lock straight on these mans anyway but but we'll strap it anyway Just gonna whack the seat belt there see if it'll fit as an extra extra safety feature there, put the keys on there right and let's, let's get some steering straps out All right. Yeah, there's not too much on these really to get around the base of these uh, MAN trucks, but you say the steering does lock solidly anyway, so these are just the added uh, safety feature putting the straps on as well. But really, if you could try and get around the base, probably be the better option than the, than the grab handles. So we've got two straps on here, and then we've just got the seat belts and extra safety restraint and so we got the steering lock seat belt and two straps there we go holding that solid right there we go that's what it's looking like so far so I've lifted the middle axle up out the way as well that was just a button on the dashboard for that so if it was towing a trailer and it was loaded obviously you won't be able to lift the, the middle axle but when it's empty you can lift them so let me get them out of the way if i can it just turns a little bit quicker then Yeah, it's got a trailer board and a couple of little uh, sponges I put on there, stuck on there now, just to protect the paintwork. On. There we go, we've got sponges protecting that on the back. Right, I think that's it, I think. So we strapped the side skirt, we've got the steering strapped, so we're not putting an airline in, so we don't need it to keep the brakes off just say if the suspension would drop I think it's nearly totally out of air now if it was we got a good few inches if it did uh, if it did have a leak on the suspension so uh, them tanks wouldn't hit yeah so that's a, the so the so the part brake works on two axles on these just to let you know just not the steer axle right Okay. 
check the plug as well. Make sure that's fully in there. It's getting a signal. Watching it, it's just a sort of quicker little rear lift on the unit. I had a few people um, ask us about um, rear lifting tractors throughout the trailers. Um, what do we need to do? So I thought I'd just do a quick video on this and uh, maybe just do a little bit of filming out the yard. You say it's only a quick video. So just clearing the job down now to say we load it. And we're on my way to uh, MANs. Right, good view of the camera. So we've got a little bit of a dip out here. But we'll take it nice and steady. You say we're not lifting it too high because obviously the front's a little bit low on this. Yeah, this morning actually uh, I'm in Fashion Berkshire with this uh, vehicle. So I'm just coming out of the, uh, the estate now. So a few people um, might recognize it if they've been delivering here. There's a few truck companies uh, on this estate. A few roadworks people as well. Yeah, steering is nice and straight. What we could have done um, if we knew what, didn't know the actual uh, destination where we're going to, or if it's going a little way, we could have folded the mirrors in for um, trees, really, more so than anything else. But it's but we're just a couple of miles off the M4. And the roads are quite nice and wide so I don't worry about folding them in on this. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, just depending where I'm going, if you know the area or you don't know the area. Take the choice really. Just going to have a couple of speed ramps and we're... Looks like we've got it set up alright, she's uh, clearing the speed ramps okay. So they are quite low these um, tracked units now to rear lift, just got to bear that in mind really. Especially how much uh, this vehicle's been scraped on that front cross member. I showed you earlier, there's a lot of markings on that where it's been up and down slopes. Now I'll just carry on filming for a little bit, just uh, get out the States. We're going over a little railway line so. Uh, Hopefully uh, a few people might recognise this transport company in there to my left. probably do it for now really so we're stuck at the railway crossing so uh, so probably may have about 15 mile drive to um, MAN and um, I'll get it unloaded there so as always thanks very much for watching thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel till next time thank you